What are we doing? Um, we are working on a rain catcher. Rain catcher? What's that? <laughs> for our water supply oh for the boat yeah okay cool <laughs> so we did a lot of a uh searching on youtube right we looked at several uh, other um <clears throat> videos that had different kinds of rain catchers some are using the deck some are using their top of their bimini's and such so uh i kind of came up with the idea that we'd create a separate rain catcher that would be hung up between the mast and the stays and would feed down directly into the water tank and filter it before it actually hits the water tank so what I came up with was obviously using the tarp which is what the Admiral's working on now is to sew the tarp and the, and the lines into the into the tarp uh, I had to come up with um, the device that actually the funnel which basically is this it's a shower drain a um, couple of rings and it's got this on top and oh you have the ring up there um, gonna borrow that for a second. Oh, Ooh, hey, yeah, let me show you what that is right now. Here we go. Gonna borrow this for a second. So, you can see here's the drain. And I got all the stuff just at Lowe's. You probably get it at Home Depot too. So, uh, she's making a ring around it to help reinforce, support the weight. Um, so I do have this grate, which is a simple grate. You, know, I, you don't even need to use that grate. But I may use it to put like a coffee filter in here and hold the coffee filter in to give it a, a, a filter right there. Um, then this goes into the rings over here, which then screws into here. So that screws into that part. Then I have a two inch pipe here, a rubber adapter down to... It might be. We'll test it. I mean, we may not do a coffee filter. Um, that was the Admiral over there. Hey. Uh, so I was saying I had to reduce it down, basically I had to reduce it down so I could get it through one of these RV filters, which you can pick up at West Marine or Walmart's cheaper, um, <laughs> which comes with that little bendable neck. And I actually sealed up that neck here because I noticed it was leaking. When it's got pressure, it usually doesn't leak, but since we don't have pressure, it'll just be rainwater. So that connects up into there. And there's actually another filter inside here a uh, little mesh filter. Let me take a look and see if I can get that out. <clears throat> so inside there is an actual little mesh filter. Um, that That's a strainer more than anything. Just a metal mesh filter inside there. You can see it. You can see it. Okay. Okay. So we're working on right now uh, getting the tarp together. Since I got the rest of it all set. And we'll give her a couple test runs and see how it works. Okay. Okay, so Eric has made a template out of this real thin plastic. Really fancy one too, with duct tape and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so I've used it to cut out my material. And this is a really thin tarp that's a backpacker's tarp. And where'd you get that at? <laughs> um, in the camping section, you can probably find that it's, okay. um, it's at Walmart. Real thin. Yeah. Um, because it's so thin, on most of this area, I've been able to cut where it, it's reinforced. Um, it's part of the seam, and it's reinforced with two layers and stitching. This we cut at an angle, and it's not reinforced. So what I'm going to do is double it up and actually put the rope encased in here so it's going to be four layers thick um, to help make because once you have water weight in it it'll probably be heavy i'm going to cut the hole out after i get the ropes in and we make sure it's where we want it to be which it doesn't have to be exact um, because it's going to be a circle and i don't want it to rip this is a nylon material and we're hoping it will work I've cut out two pieces that I'm going to use as reinforcements when I stitch it, and I'll stitch around um, the inside and the outside of this hole to help keep it from ripping. Okay, so um, I'm going to pin this material in place and then get the rope cut, and let's go ahead and cut the rope. Are you able to... You want to cut the rope? Well, you want me to sew it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that would be helpful. <laughs> you want a piece for each side, right? It's not going to be one piece. Yeah. 
Then I've got yeah, it'll be four it. pieces. Yeah, so we need to kind of measure. Yes, yeah. I have to cut it. <laughs> okay. Somebody, yes. All right. <clears throat> so let's figure out the very obvious. Where, ah, there it is. Figure out how much and give ourselves as much slack we can on each end, so I can kind of figure out how to tie it and such. At this point, it's still a rope, right? It's yeah, it's not a line. It's not on the boat. Yeah. Okay, so we want it to go about, uh, what, five, five, what, about five feet extra on each end? Uh-huh. All right, so let's pull out five feet and say, You kind of took the wrong end. Five feet. Yeah. Whoa, 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 don't let go. Hold on. <laughs> okay, oh, five feet. Okay, so take that. Okay. I got one hand so I can open it. <laughs> <using> the phone. <laughs> okay, so there's five feet. Okay, now we need another five feet for the other side, right? Um... I want five feet on each end. I know. I don't need it, but if we got it, that would probably be helpful. Fish don't need that anymore, huh? Okay, so then we'll measure uh. here. Mm -hmm. If you take that to the end. This spot. And bring it here. Probably gonna want to burn the ends. I have Oh, cool! Fire! Yeah! Fire! Fire! Hey! Fire! Yeah! Hey! Fire! 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 What? Oh, that's a candle. That's no fun. I guess that's easier. Let me just put, oh. Ow! <laughs> Have all this technical equipment at our disposal. <laughs> Okay, so instead of measuring each one, let's go ahead and let me sew one, so we don't get them, test it. So we don't get them right. mixed up. Gotcha. Hey, okay, easy with get, the template. I'm gonna get some <laughs> pens. Oh, here's the, uh, like I said, the filters that are in already in the RV filter. I bought extras because I'm using them somewhere else, but uh, anyway, that's what they look like. In case you're wondering. You doing with that Sailrite uh, sewing machine? Oh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> actually, when is that? Kenmore. Kenmore. That's from what? The '80s, 1980s, maybe? No. '70s. 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 But you've already been using it to repair sails, make canvas. And... I have not used it to repair sails. I've oh, that's right. We borrowed somebody's Sailrite. Sail <laughs> okay, but we I have used it to make used cushions. It to make the right? um, interior, well, exterior cushions too. Yeah. Um, it, one of the materials really, the machine wasn't able to handle it very well and mm -hmm. um, caused many problems and had to have the machine serviced after that. Um, do we have a magnifier? Yes, the magnifying glass. <laughs> the material I am <laughs> Sorry. going to be sewing on is thin, mm -hmm. um, but I'm using the thicker thread. Would that make bigger holes? Or? Because we want it to be sturdier. I guess I don't have to. Um, but this is also a UV protective thread. I cannot read what size this is. So, what you doing now? Now I'm gonna actually need your help a little bit, but what? Oh, do you need the rope? Um, the line rope. Yeah, it'd be good. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Now we pick blue because it represents water and therefore we'll be able to pick it out easier, right? Or is it just because I like blue? <laughs> okay. So, just thinking 
are not planning on sewing the rope in there. Okay. But just in case it does get caught by the needle once or twice, we mm -hmm. probably should get our five feet on each side. Okay. Are <laughs> you using your foot? That doesn't really work. Your foot's not that long, honey. Your foot's not a foot. You're like six inches. Okay. What? I want to see how close it is. To what? Five feet. You hold that and take the and take that end of the tape measure with you. Right on. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. <laughs> right on, baby. Why don't you just say dynamite while you're at it too? Okay, dynamite. Okay. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. So what I'm gonna be sewing? Well, like I said, I mean, we can actually sew it in. It doesn't have to be. If you hit it with the needle, that'd actually be good because I got enough slack, five feet on each side, to adjust it. So that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to move the way I have the, neat, the pins in because when I'm sewing, this material is going to go out from the sewing machine. Okay. And so I'm going to want the pins where I can pull them mm -hmm. out just okay. in case someone doesn't do a lot of sewing. That's just something you should think about. So I got the last pin in on this side and then we're going to go sew. Always hold your threads to get started. I am going to change to my... Oh... Well, you got that uh, bolt rope maker, don't you? Yeah, but that won't work that way. I'll have to switch it the other way. Can't you turn the material around? Okay, we are going to make some changes here. Changes! Woo. And I told you how thin this material is, and it's a good thing because I'm going to change my pressure foot. This is a standard mm -hmm. presser foot. This was a welting. Welting? What the heck's a welting? Welting is what makes um, binding. Binding? Not binding. Um, Little piping on the piping. on the uh, yeah. cushions that you did. They oh, call okay. them welting. They call them welting or piping or little tubes on the side of mattresses. All right. Not mattresses on all our cushions. Mattresses, and... cushions, same thing. Okay. So. You know, bed mattresses. Have those. But that's right. I have to have the. Um... I got some of these from um, a company called Sewing Parts Online. And this is an adapter for my machine. So this makes it for a long shaft, because I guess I have a short shaft or something like that. But um, so then I put this. There we go. So it extends the shaft for your sewing machine. Let me make sure. Mm -hmm. Wanna grab mine? No, I think like it's working. So how's yeah. that how's that working out here? Seems like it's working. Yeah. Um I started thinking, you know, the big thing... Oh, I can't do that on here. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking how on sales you use zigzags so that when the pressure hits it, it mm -hmm. doesn't um, rip. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about using a zigzag, but I wouldn't be able to use this pressure foot. Which it is doing some funky things on the back. You may have to change thread. Oh man. 
We'll come back after we fix these technical difficulties. Alright, so do you want to check the back and see if you got it fixed? Um, let's see that. Is it loopy? Oh, it looks pretty clean. You fixed it. So what what happened? What what was going on? Wait a minute. Now come on, you gotta give us an update. You can't just fix it and go on and on. What happened? It was all tangled up on the back. On the inside? Something or yeah. You know? On the back. On the bobbin side. On so the bobbin inside underneath. Yeah. But so. I think it was the top piece that was doing it. Mm -hmm. It was all tangled up here. Huh. So that's and so fixed it. You just pulled all the thread out and started over, pretty much. Yeah, I had okay. to take out the shuttle and cut the thread that was all tangled up inside. So the shuttle's that thing underneath where the needle is. It's inside the machine. It's where the bobbin is. The bobbin, okay, bobbin shuttle. Look, you can't throw these terms at us and not explain what they are. They're just not right because I'm like, oh, you don't do so. Looks pretty clean underneath. Okay. Let's keep that flat. Do you need me to try and pull a little bit? No, I don't. Can we yank really no. hard on it? <laughs> I don't. Do you want me to sway like a sailor? Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, give it to us. That foot's working pretty well, huh? Yeah. It gets it, as you can see, it sews really close to where the, the rope, rope is. is. Yeah. yeah. Nice. We can always get the hose out to test it. You mean you want to make rain? Ooh. <laughs> you really want to stand out in the rain to test it? Well, it's supposed to rain today, but I think it already went by. It's nice and sunny. It's 78 degrees outside. It's like, this is March, it's not supposed to be that. But it's North Carolina, so you never know when it's going to be warm or not. I mean, it was like, what, 50 yesterday, it's now 70, almost 78 today. It snowed last week. It snowed last week, you know, so. We love North Carolina. <laughs> you never know what the weather's going to Just give it a few hours, it'll change. So you think you got, do you think you want to try and test it out on the boat today? We don't know yet. Okay. I'm not in a rain. I can simulate rain. We're good. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you going too fast? Or you go a little slower? If I thought I was going too fast, I would be going slower. Okay, that was another way to say, you don't know what you're talking about, just shut up and let me do it. <laughs> I read that. <laughs> Not that I've never ever experienced that before. <laughs> Look, I was right on the money too. She can't even talk. She's laughing so hard. <laughs> you know, there's a benefit to being married 26 years. <laughs> she knows exactly all the dumb stuff I'm going to say. <laughs> uh... Alright, so you happy with how it turned out so far? Working? I think so. Okay, cool. So where are we at? Oh, hey, you're standing on it. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on, I gotta turn on the drone. There's a drone. Oh, okay, drone's up. <laughs> How's that? Sounds good. Okay, so you got it all sewed together with the new ropes in it. And now we're gonna try and figure out where the hole is approximately supposed to be. So really, if you just line up that side, that'll tell us where the hole is about. Which, like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. Where the hole's right there. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. So yeah, let's say the hole's right about there. Okay. Can you grab okay. that marker, the sharpie? Now you see it's smaller. It's uh -huh. slightly smaller than the outside ring. Oh, where's the rings? It. Let me get the rings. That's how I feel. Because you want it a little smaller because it's going to stretch. Oh, it's not going to stretch. Oh, it will. No, it won't. It'll stretch a little bit. No, you don't it won't. Think so? Why? It will not stretch. What makes you think it's not going to stretch? Because I said it's not going to stretch. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you need this marker? This one? Yeah. All right. Is this the, this is the size that yeah. you needed? Yeah. 
Well, I, like I said, I'd make it I just... I thought it was on the outside of that thing. It is. Well, then I... This is the... You, you, you mark on the inside of the hole, see? If you mark on the inside of this hole, then it'll be right. So mark on the inside. Make sense? Just put a dot, and then we take the plastic away. Yeah. Can you mark it? Yeah, whatever. Right there? The Does the marker even work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I just, it, I have to, I'm going to eyeball it, I guess. Do you need another marker? No, the marker works fine. I don't see it. Barely. Oh, there it is. Okay, I need okay. just two little pieces right under the paper there. Package. Oh. Your reinforcement. Bring in the reinforcements. That should work. Not very pretty, but. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need the scissors. <clears throat> what you did with them? <laughs> of course, and I am. <laughs> They're not up there? No. Yeah. I know. How'd you lose my scissors? Really? Me, huh? Hold on, guys. We're going to stop recording for a minute. Some argument's going to take place. Okay, so we have located said lost scissors, and we're now moving on to the cutting phase. This is where it gets very... you got to be real careful here. Are you making a piece of the pie? Are you hungry? No. Oh. All right. What I did <coughs> is I plan to put those up oh. into the pieces. Gotcha. So instead of actually just carving a hole out, you're going to fold them over on themselves and sew them. So it'll go kind of like mm -hmm. that. You gotcha. Actually, I wouldn't mind having... Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? I'll be back. Where are you going? I'm gonna go get a supply. What? Tape. Oh, Sign okay. Tape. Ah, okay. Special tape. Cool. Okay, so I actually got this tape when from Sailrite when I was doing stuff for the windows. Um... Interesting because the tape is straight, and I'm going to put it on a circle bolt. I think I'm going to do lots of little pieces, kind of like when we were taping to do the on the boat to do the non skid. Mm hmm. And we did straight lines around in order to make the curves. Yep. Mm hmm. Lots and lots of pieces of tape. All right, well, it's going to take a while, so we'll come back here in a minute after we get that done. Okay, so I've cut these little pieces. So that's the tape. It's it's double-sided sticky tape is what it is. Yeah, it's okay. made for this, though. Gotcha. For holding your sewing seat. Mm -hmm. And you could get your pins out. Ah! <laughs> sticky fingers. So what I'm going to do here... Now, before you do that, should we test with the hole and make sure, like you said, it's not going to flex. Maybe we should check it with the 
make sure it goes through. It doesn't matter about this part. I'm just cutting off the points so they oh. don't stick out. I get, I get the point. I get it. Uh, ah. <laughs> okay. Does it fit? Is it supposed to go through? Yes, it should go through. It doesn't fit. <clears throat> Oh, guess what? It didn't stretch. Oh, I make it stretch if I have to. Yeah, that's good and tight. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Just wanted to make sure before we went any further, you know. I tend to dry fit a lot of stuff to make sure it works. Okay. So now, where are those extra little pieces that mm -hmm. have stickies on it? Now what are you doing? Uh huh. Okay, so I'm gonna put one on each. On the outside, four different spots. Uh, you can help hold it down. Okay, we'll be right back. Hold on. <laughs> no, actually, you, I don't need help. Oh. You can make your fingers though. Move your fingers. So now I'm going to sew around the inside and around the outside. Can you do circles? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just asking, can you do circles? <laughs> you know how to sew in circles? It sews in a straight line, but perfect. Ah, you can sew in circles. Okay, cool. Do you want to do the outside part? If I wanted to do the Oh, outside. there we go again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, remember these questions are coming from a guy who doesn't sew that often. The inside is the measurement that counts, so I want to do that one first. Okay. Are you supposed to have your needle down when you like turn it because it makes it a you know, pivot point? I'm asking for the viewer's sake, not for mine. There you go. Well, that's what I was taught. You know, weird. I actually took a home ec course and learned how to sew. Did it pick up chicks? Well, yeah, that was that too. <laughs> Man, if you're going to pick up chicks, a home ec course is a way to go. I need to work for you, dear. You know, I'm not going to say on video. <laughs> so how's the hole looking? I think it's, it's reinforced. Mm -hmm. And I think it's not the prettiest, but I think it will work. All right, you want to give it a dry run here? Yes. Okay. So, did you want to go to the boat and test her out? Um, sure. All right, we'll come back after testing. Good. All right, everybody. <coughs> Rainmaker time. Yeah, because the Admiral, who is right over there, actually made this really cool Rainmaker for us. I made the Rainmaker? You're going to make the rain in the moment, or you're going to be the Rainmaker. I made the Rain Catcher. Rain Catcher, sorry. All right. Alright, let's 
the uh, prototype. I was thinking about probably putting cleats, those cleats that attach, kind of like if you look down here, there's a cleat right there. So probably a cleat like that, that I can just do a quick hit on with a snap, some sort of snap shackle. Hmm. Cool. I don't know, that one might be a little closer to us when we walk by that area. I could see us getting caught on that one. What do you mean? Look, if you're gonna talk, you gotta talk louder. Okay, so here, this one is wider. That is like right in the middle of the walkway. Well, the, the hose is going to be right in the middle of the walkway anyway, because it's got to be down there. If you point down there, that's where the... Only when you have it on, but the shackle... If you point shackle, down there, you can see the fills are down there. That's fine, but the shackle, if you put the um, cleat up there, will always be there. The cleat yeah. won't be a temporary thing. I'm no. think, saying the cleat, I think, may get in the way. The way of what? The way of us when we're walking by. It'll be a little cleat just like that. But that one is out further, is what I'm saying. Right, but you're not that tall. Plus, I can move it up and down. So. Anyway, right now we're just, you know, going to drive this test it out and see if things work here. We can use it as a shade. And again, once we kind of figure out all the distance now. I'm using a um, I think you should have gone on the inside. A slip this. knot. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I might do that later, but I'm, I'm using a, a slip knot to that I can tighten it up and, and test it. So once we get kind of used to testing it and get it dry run here, then we'll actually come up with hard points that I can actually attach it. This it's, it's pulling. Out. Okay. That holds the uh, that, that pulls the sail out. It's got lots. It's used to getting lots of pressure. Like I said, I might eventually put like um, a hook or something up here that I use a snap shackle, so I'm not having to tie this. I just go wham, 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 wham. Four of them. It gets up and running. All right. Take a look. So it looks like it's got enough of uh, bow in here. I might have to tighten something up or change. So it's got plenty. So um, we're gonna stop recording for a minute. I need to go get them. This is the RV water filter. Make sure the arrow goes in the right direction before you put that on. Now I can put it on here like this, directly on, or it comes with uh, this extension, which I really don't think I need. Originally I thought I needed it, but since I'm connecting it right to here, I don't really. Need it. And you see that adds a bunch of weight to it. You come back up here, you can see it's pulling down harder on it up in this area. If you come up this area, you can see it's now pulling down even more with the weight. So I might even want to tighten up an end here or so, or maybe not. So uh, I have to go get an extension hose, but. Do you want to try uh, testing test it first without putting up the hose? No. Because I, actually the hose I haven't cut the length yet. So let's see if it actually does pull up and drip and come out. Okay. Do you want to be the rainmaker? Sure. She wants to just hose me. She wants to squirt me down. That's what she's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you know how to turn the hose on over there? Oh, that hose. Yeah. Here, why don't you record? I'll go do it. I was thinking our boat hose. got dirt all over it. Yeah. That, is that an ant hill? No. That's just, they, they've been building up this area. See the rock? Oh. Uh, Alright. Let's see. Now, you know I'm not going to squirt you because I don't have the waterproof cover on the GoPro, so you're lucky. <laughs> but you never know. My ant can suck. 
decent and you can see it come down here and you can see the water it's, it is passing through the water filter so you got good clean good clean drinking water coming out of there so then I'll run a hose from here and run it straight down to either tank whether it's the secondary tank the backup or the main tank so what do you say we dump a bunch of water in there see, now you, you can see it's taking a while to actually go through the filter it's not running really fast so it is going to pull up here and it's going to push down on it, which is I think, in a heavy rain. In a heavy rain, it's going to pull up, and then you know, if it, at some point, it'll spill over if it gets too much. But what do you say we test her? Heavy downpour. <laughs> Ready? All right. So there's our heavy torrential. That be a Florida rain. <laughs> no, I think you just need to. Fill it up. Get this camera, you this? Yeah. You're gonna get me wet. I won't get you wet. up a little bit more but it's a wider at a wider Lighter, point yeah. now so you don't see it as fast. I don't think we're ever gonna have this much rain. <laughs> Gallons, anyway. Definitely stretching there, so. I'd say five gallons, maybe. <laughs> so I'll we'll have to try some uh, real-world demos when it's raining and uh, see how it handles. Why don't you stand on the other side behind the um, water so in case they can't see the water going down? Oh, you mean right here? Yeah. Yeah, so they can see that that's water coming down right there, so. So the filter is doing its job. I mean, obviously I got, you know, stuff coming out from the, a little bit from the uh, actual, what is that? What, what do you say that is? Nylon? It's kind of a nylon yeah, material? Yeah, but it's coated. Coated nylon? Yeah. It's dripping a little bit here. But it's got kind of like a plastic mm -hmm. coating on this side. Now, of course, if we want, you know, we could also just unscrew the filter and put it straight into the water tank if we wanted to. Yeah, I don't think we should put a coffee filter in there. I think that would even dam it up even more. It would. Now, really, after this, after it goes through this filter into our tank, we then have pleated filter, carbon filter, and UV filter. 
so you know it'll be pretty clean it'll have it'll be purified as it goes through our system where this is just somewhat filtered and it'll be purified after we actually go through our system before we ever drink it or bathe with it or cook with it so if you wanted to bypass this filter yeah i could just unscrew it put the hose to it and right it, directly in the tank so if we really needed water quickly, quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah yep she's holding her own here i mean uh, i mean it is tight with the weight but it's it, it's holding its own i don't see any ripping going on no tearing nice sewing job admiral <laughs> See, I thought you were going to have this down lower so you could have it wider, bigger. The what? I thought you were going to have this down lower oh. so it could be bigger. Well, I had to, I had to go with what, um, you know, what, what places I had to mount it, which is the two stays, the boom over there, and then, of course, back behind there with the ladder. So, um, yeah, I had to do all that. What? You could have done it on that stay. Yeah, but see, I also wanted to still be able to walk by it oh. so that I can walk through so that way you know, we can get by it. You know, the tube's just going to run down there to the tank, so it shouldn't get in the way. I mean, it's one little hop over, but I don't have this huge rain device in my way. <laughs> just trying to get through. Make sense? Yeah, so if we were going to this <laughs> Go ahead. Guys, you're going to love this. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Gra uh, no, grab it from. Gra no, 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 no. You gotta grab you it. it. You gotta. You got two hand. One here, one here. Just unscrew no, it. No, from... I have one blocking the water. No, that's no fun. Don't be blocking the water. <laughs> Other way. There you go. Keep going. It's no, it's it is tight. I tightened it here. Why don't you do this? I'll I'll do it. Your hand in there. I did. <laughs> anyway, so, Watch yeah. off the deck. Yeah, it's doing it. <laughs> okay, so that would be much faster. Oh, yeah. If in a heavy that, rain. Are we ever going to get that heavier rain? I don't know if we use it. So. Alright, I think that's it for this mod. Anything else we need to do with this? I mean, we need to dry it off before we put it dry. away. <laughs> before we put it away, yeah. Thank you. So, what are we gonna do next? Thumbs up? If you like. Oh, hey, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, you know, and, and subscribe if you haven't. Also, hey, click the share button. You know, if, if you think this is a cool idea, share it with someone. If you don't think it's a cool idea, don't share it. <laughs> In fact, don't even talk about it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, thanks. We'll be, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what we're doing next time. Or, or when we're not doing Not sure when, when we're, we're gonna doing be doing it. <laughs> I'll get her trained yet. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Just took it a minute for me to get it on right. Okay. All right, so there's the tube. Really have a problem with that camera. It's great. There you go. Now, if you want, you could actually, you know, just hold it right there. Jump up on it. There you go. All right. Let's see how much. Okay, this will be a quick wrap up of the rain catcher that we've been working on. So as you see, I've got putting smart clips here, stay cleats here, stay cleats over here. So again, I can just hook this sucker up pretty fast, you know, when it rains. There you can see how it feeds down in, into here. I've got a big old damn shaper. I actually have that in my tools that I had part, spare parts that I was going to use. So, hey, works really good there. Another quick disconnect. Same thing down here. Another quick disconnect just around this knot. And that gives me the rain catcher here, which will feed down 
The nice thing is, um, I'll get to that in a minute. So it feeds down into here, had a couple adapters to get it into the RV filter. Down this tube, all the way down here to the water entry to the secondary tank. I can do the first two. Got this at West Marine, matched up the threads with the cap, drilled the hole through here. So all I'd have to do is screw that down, put a little tip on there, with the water, make it easier for the water to get down, and just push it down in there. And there we go, that's done. Uh, the nice thing I do like about this water make water catcher, not water maker, <laughs> it doesn't make water, it just catches it, um, is that I can walk through it. I can walk through the deck and it really doesn't get in the way, as you can see. So, pretty happy with that. It's out of the way. I mean, obviously, the only issue is I can't roll out the mainsail while I'm catching water, which I don't think I'd really want to, but if that's the case, I'll need to come up with a different anchor point there, which I'm sure I can finagle or rig something up there. All right, so that is the rain catcher on sailing vessel, not sure. And I'm not sure when I'm gonna use it, but hey, <laughs> it's ready. So when the zombie apocalypse come, I'm good. Thank you.